This is Sir Bishop Kitty. You hear him? He's really talking smack. He's on that dust. I've been giving him. Hey. I've been giving him this, uh. Yeah. This, uh, what do we call it? Catnip, that's right. Hold on. Put it here so he can be in the, in the maze. Sir Bishop Kitty, when I met him, I didn't, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know what he was about. He was running around here in the yard, and it looked like, if I, if I knew anything, that this cat was going to pee in one of our cars. I didn't like that. So I had to go out there and enforce. But then we met each other. And I think, I think we became friends. It took about a month, maybe two, before he let me actually touch him. And I told him, I said, bro, dude, you just don't know the good thing that you have when you have friends within a human. That's right. Humans can be some of the best fucking pets a cat can have. And I think he's learned to agree. Of course, today he's being very, he's being very uh, feline, uh, asinine, a little bit, showing up late. Um, he doesn't want to eat the leftover plate that I gave him. He walked up to it and he said some shit like, tsuh, tsuh. I don't want that. He wants this. He wants this. He wants this, and he wants me to put his meow mix in it, which I've been dosing it also with the, uh, yeah, there's enough in there to take a bite. You don't know any difference. If I shake it to one corner, it looks like it's got a little bit in it. Oh, he's definitely using me. Uh, blossom or lotus stalk. But it's primarily the, the female essence that, that we're, we're talking about today is this very nurturing warrior goddess, healing goddess that also has the secrets of attaining wholeness, perfection, and ultimately immortality. This is a scene that I always make a beeline for when we go to the Temple of Vices at Philae. It's just so realistic to me. And you can just imagine the ancient Egyptians taking a little dab of oil here and, and placing their finger on this, on this temple wall and activating this image and, and Tefnut or Sekhmet coming to lie, coming to life and literally the walls speaking to the initiates standing before whoa, this whoa, image. Whoa. So powerful. Totally and and here he is again. I just, again, I'm thinking this is so lifelike wall. that and with the inc incantations, with the chanting that would have gone on in, in, in these temple walls, that you can hear the Egyptian temples. This is a, a, the Temple of Horus at Edfu. Uh, you don't like these wild the, winds. The, the central part of the temple, and you go up into What's the that? side chambers, and you look up, and your breath is suddenly you taken say? away because you, you look at the image of, of Bastet or of Sekhmet. Is that right? Wall, and it looks like a, a three-dimensional being just Tell walking me more. past, right? And Please explain. You just stop, and you're stunned in your tracks at, at, at the, how lifelike it Sir. is, and how realistic these portrayals are. And you can just imagine Tell me. a procession of gods is that and right? goddesses led by Sekhmet, Get him. just walking past him, you in the temple here. Get him. It's just truly, truly remarkable. Another example from the Temple of Horus. Oh, you get it. On, on the... But it's okay. Because he's also he's also a service comfort animal. Of course, he gets too fucked up. One of his fucking one of his uh actual he's got like the cat thumb thing gone, gone. One of the animals ate the motherfucker off. He's got, like I've got this wounded thumb too, because mine got fucked up. But I have it all. I didn't lose it. I just lost a quarter of it. Was that refreshing, sir? I think he says it's refreshing. I thought I'd properly introduce him. When I when I found him, he had on his chest a perfect cross. That is why I call him Sir Bishop Kitty. 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 Cat. He don't like these wild winds. What's that? 
you say? Kitty. Is that right? Tell me more. Please explain. Sir. Sir. Tell me. Is that right? Get him. Get him, kitty. Get him. Ooh, you better get it. You better get it. Are you a cat? Or are you not? Are you a gnat? Are you a cat or a gnat? Come here. Come here, homie. He's a great fucking cat. <laughs>